Hello guys, once again, it's Matt and today we have another video. Thank you all the members, all the patrons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it, guys. So today we have a very cool update that was released, uh, some quality of life stuff and a big change on the uh, fragment damage or real shatter or whatever you want to call it uh, in aircraft guns. So let's take a look. First things first, basically they say that they are fixing the lack of fragment damage to parts of helicopters and aircraft. Uh, it's still going to use the same system, I'm pretty sure, over here. Uh, the real shatter or whatever. Uh, but now uh, there was basically a bug that caused basically the damage to be lowered uh, after they implemented this realistic fragment. You know, uh, basically the fragments could not pass from inside the target to outside via fuselage and wings without dealing damage. So basically was a bug. We're going to check that. Uh, they added a visual, you know, missile launch window for uh, laser seekers and semi-active uh, automatic guidance systems. We're going to check that. Uh, for these missiles, the AGMs and stuff, and the bullpups and the uh, AE-20s, AES-20s, AES AES-30s, they added a better, you know, smoke trail. A new, I mean, just less visible and a little bit more transparent, transparent to be a little bit easier to actually... I guide it. Um, some two bugs on basically the boosters being shown in the battle log and also the automatic automatic purchase of crew replenishments after a battle has been fixed. So the compensation with the premium accounts, right? And then a timer was added in the sites of ground vehicles, helicopters, and aircraft that counts downtime. Um, you know, basically that you, it is possible to launch a beam riding missile, a laser beam riding missile, right? And, um, you know, so... Uh, let's check all of these in the game. So first things first, obviously the real shatter. Um, I don't know, it's, I think, I mean, that was kind of bad. Um, as you see, I don't know, it feels like it's better. It's not by much, but it feels a little bit better. So it might be fixed. Hopefully it's fixed. I don't know. To be honest, the, the only difference that I thought I saw it was the lack of fragments, you know. So it feels like he has more fragments to it, uh, but it is still a 20 millimeter, so the damage is quite limited. Let's take a look on something that uses a uh, 30 something millimeter. Let's use an HE. Yeah, much bigger fragmentation as you see. Oh my God, that's a big fragmentation. So yeah, it should be way better than it was before. It feels like it is way better. So that's cool. Uh, let's check the windows over here. So let me just go to uh, an aircraft that has a laser something, you know. So now we have basically this little square there. So if you try to fight a target, for example, I want to fire at... Um, let me try to just get a little bit of distance over here. But if you try to actually lock something or just basically... Um, you know, have a, a proper look on a target or anything like that, this square will appear on the screen right there. So, for example, here, I mean, let's just lock that vehicle, and I need to put that square onto the target to be able to shoot, and then it will show to me where the where I can shoot the missile, right? If I shoot it uh, from another direction that it's not on the square there, it will not be able to shoot. I'm clicking the button, it's not shooting. I put it there and it's shooting. So that's that's pretty good. That actually helps a lot. And let me check the timer over here. There's supposed to be a timer somewhere so that I can actually fire another missile. But it's not appearing anywhere. So I think it's missing for now. Let's check, let's check on the helicopter first. I mean, the helicopter, it's not... Like, it's more on the aircraft that this square is appearing. And the timer is not appearing as well over here, so... Oh, there it is. There it is. Now I find it. It's right there. See, two, one. And then you can... If you fire again, it will not... So, for example... If I fire one missile and fire another one, both of them will guide inside that window.
But if I fire a missile and wait for the time and fire another one, the first one will stop guide itself, as you saw. Let me check again on the on the aircraft. I swear to you, there wasn't a thing there. It's such a small thing; they need to like make it bigger, right? It's it's too small. It really is too small. So let me check this. Oh, it's working there as well. I just didn't see it. So, yeah. Um, let me just show to you guys. You have two seconds. See? If the timer went out... I mean, it's still guiding. But if I fire for too long, it will stop guiding the first missile. And then it will stop guiding the other missiles. And it's kind of weird right now. But yeah, see how the missile is just going? I'm not guiding that. So yeah, now you can actually have that timer, which helps a lot, to be honest, uh, for you to actually know when to fire. Hopefully they add to the third person as well, it would help a little bit. Uh, let's just test the, the smoke missiles, uh, the smoke of the missiles, the bullpups and stuff. So now it feels that the smoke is a little bit better, as you see. I don't know, it just feels a little bit uh, brighter to see as well. Not a big change, but it does help to guide these bullpups. Uh, but anyway, guys, this was it. Um, not big changes, but quality of life changes and some other interesting things. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and I see you guys on the next one. Bye guys. See you.